Abu Savaris, as you would expect, was virtually ignored during today's news conference designed to hype his Saturday night fight with Mike Tyson. Set for a Scotland soccer field, Savaris will also be virtually ignored when it comes to getting paid. Tyson's purse, $8 million. Savaris, $850,000. That's barely enough to pay Iron Mike's tab with a London jeweler. And as Jeremy Schaap reports, that's where things get interesting, or in Tyson's case, predictable. Quoting unnamed sources in Mike Tyson's camp, Scottish newspapers reported that on Monday, Tyson attacked Frank Warren, the man promoting his scheduled fight against Lou Savarese because Warren hadn't paid a $630,000 jewelry debt Tyson racked up in London in January. Warren's spokespeople and Tyson all denied that there had been any incident. Did you knock Frank Warren down? Did you attack him? I've done nothing of the sort. I'm just here to talk about boxing and knocking out Lou Savary. Do you owe them that money? Listen, can I tell you something? I give 632,000 pounds to a girl I met a week ago. That means nothing to me. But Warren gave the reports added credence by not appearing at the pre-fight press conference, which he had been scheduled to attend. Unfortunately, Mr. Warren is at home right now, dealing with several legal matters. We delayed the press conference so that he might attend but he has missed the plane, and we needed to get on with the press conference. The Warren camp said he had been busy in London filing libel suits against several newspapers, including the Daily Record. Warren's spokeswoman said he would attend Saturday's fight, and contrary to one published report, his jaw could not have been broken because she had just spoken to him and said he sounded fine. Still, the British boxing press is convinced something happened. I think there was certainly an incident in that hotel, uh, on that seventh floor of that hotel. What the extent of the incident it was, I have no idea. I can only guess. But there was a row, and I think there was a row over the non-payment of the jury uh, bill. And as a result of that row, there's now bad blood between Frank Warren and Mike Tyson. And that is the reason why Warren, he wouldn't have missed an opportunity in uh, being up here to help promote, with two days to go, the tyson Savarese fight. And that's the key question. Why would a promoter bother with non-pressing legal matters and skip his own press conference when he still has 20,000 tickets to sell? Conspiracy theorists might say that's exactly why he skipped the press conference. How better to drum up interest for a fight many expect to be an easy Tyson victory than to suggest Tyson decked his own promoter. In Glasgow, Scotland, Jeremy Schaap, ESPN. British tabloids, meanwhile, have not had this much fun since John McEnroe calmed down. A lot of them reported today that Mike Tyson beat up the promoter of his scheduled Saturday fight because the man would not pay for $660,000 worth of jewelry Tyson bought during his last trip to England in January. The jeweler is suing Tyson, promoter Frank Warren, who missed today's news conference. But a spokeswoman said the story is nonsense and that Warren will sue the papers. Tyson denied it, too, but he refused to sue anybody. I don't throw crack. <laughs> what do you think? We would like to relate questions just for now. <laughs> I enjoy doing what I do. I enjoy hurting people. That's what I do for a living. That's what all you guys come to watch me hurt people. That's what I like to do. I'm in the hurt business. I really like it a lot. It was in the papers, so it must be true, but this is a boxing story, so there are always two sides. But if true, it would be a most novel way to prep for a prize fight, something along the lines of biting the hand that feeds you, or in Mike Tyson's case, wanting to bite somebody's head off. Sounds like a feeding frenzy. Jeremy Schaap, whose father is also in television, was hungry. Savarese weighed in at 241 pounds, 19 more than Mike Tyson for their fight Saturday in Glasgow, Scotland. Jerome Jurenovich, CNN Headline Sports. Well, say what you will about Mike Tyson, he's rarely boring. Few other athletes could venture thousands of miles to face questions like, did you threaten to throw him out a window? Him is Frank Warren, the promoter of Tyson's fight tomorrow with Lou Savarese, the same promoter who was a no-show to the pre-fight press conference. Allegations of a confrontation between Warren and Tyson have overshadowed the activities, which today included the weigh-in. Jeremy Schapp has the latest from Scotland. Hampton Park, Glasgow. At the weigh-in in Glasgow on Friday, Frank Warren was again a no-show, further fueling speculation that he had been assaulted. Warren's spokespeople again denied that there had been any incident and said he had still been too busy in London filing lawsuits to make the weigh-in. However, Showtime executive Jay Larkin said Warren would be at the fight, 
For his part, Lou Savarese, Tyson's opponent, agreed that it was customary for the promoter to attend the pre-fight promotions. Have you ever fought a big fight before without the promoter showing up? Absolutely not. Every promoter is usually there with their banners and trying to get their, uh, you know, get a little press for themselves. I don't know if he really is promoting a fight, because I've never seen the guy. So <laughs> I don't even know who he is. Really, I've never seen him. Frank Warren, if you're watching, hello, how are you? I'm Lou Savarese. I'm going to be the guy who's fighting Mike Tyson. I don't know. I've never seen him before. Savarese weighed in at a little more than 17 stone, or 241 pounds. Tyson, whose training was interrupted by the death two weeks ago of his friend Daryl Baum, weighed in at nearly 16 stone, 222 pounds, one pound lighter than he had been prior to his last fight, a two-round demolition of Julius Francis in January. Are you satisfied with his conditioning? More than satisfied. Because of the death of his friend Darrell, I was concerned that he would be distracted, that other things, he wasn't, he's fully focused, and he's gonna knock this guy out. I don't know if we can judge his conditioning by his body. He looks in great shape, he always looks in great shape. You said the other day that you wish you'd had a couple more weeks to prepare. Do you feel differently now? Well, that, was, that wasn't that uh, was preparation physical, that was mental, you know. Uh, you know He's, he's a big-hearted guy, and uh, he was really down. And uh, a couple more weeks would have been fine for him to get back on Earth again. Uh, but he, he's fine now. Back here on planet Earth, Tyson is no longer a champion, but he can still draw a crowd. More than 40,000 people are expected to attend Saturday's fight, not counting Frank Warren. In Glasgow, Jeremy Schaff, ESPN. June, the biggest names in heavyweight boxing are taking showtime by storm. Mike Tyson, he's still the most ferocious man to get in the ring. Mike Tyson, he won't quit till he's champion again. But first, he must get by the big right hand of Lou Savarese. 39 wins, 32 knockouts, and one big dream. Mike Tyson, name any other heavyweight you'd rather see fight. Tyson versus Savarese, coming soon, only on Showtime. Tyson and Lou Savarese are ready to go at it in Scotland on Saturday. The two weighed in on Friday. Tyson checked in at 222 pounds, while Savarese tipped the scales at 241 and a quarter. June, the biggest names in heavyweight boxing are taking showtime by storm. Mike Tyson, he's still the most ferocious man to get in the ring. Mike Tyson, he won't quit till he's champion again. But first, he must get by the big right hand of Lou Savarese. 39 wins, 32 knockouts, and one big dream. Mike Tyson, name any other heavyweight you'd rather see fight. Tyson versus Savarese. Tonight at 9, only on Showtime.